Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're now delighted to be joined over the telephone by His Excellency Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, the former Assistant Foreign Minister. It's a very good afternoon to you, Mr. Ambassador. Hello, good afternoon. Thank you so much, Mr. Ambassador, for joining us. And of course, uh, today we're discussing the latest developments in Lebanon, and uh, a lot of hope is riding on the Lebanese uh, diaspora to cast their votes, make a difference in this year's election. We're speaking about 128 seats to the parliament, uh, 65 yes. seats needed for a majority. Could you tell us, Mr. Ambassador, how important are these parliamentary elections for Lebanon? It is very important because uh, in a free economy like the Lebanese one, mm. uh, the word is confidence. If we lose confidence in the economy, nothing will be going ahead mm. like we would like to see. And Lebanon is well known as a, a country divided among parties and uh, tribes. Mm. But uh, uh, because the standards of the people, they are highly educated and cultured and mm. they are politically uh, minded uh, they, they kept their country going ahead quite well mm -hmm. by distributing the wealth distributing the, the political power and so on mm -hmm. but sometimes uh, you, you have some people who do not see that it is better to vote for one united country instead of one uh, different uh, tribes or different parties. Yes. This is what we are seeing. We have two problems here. Mm -hmm. A political division among tribes. Another is a, a sort of economic crisis. And in the back scene, I hate to say that there is a, a sort of economic corruption also. Mm -hmm. I, 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 to give you a, 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 an idea, the first time I visited Lebanon, and I visited Lebanon plenty of times, mm -hmm. it was in 1970. Mm -hmm. By that time, the dollar equals two and a half lira. Yes. Then uh, last year I went there, it, 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 it became 1,500 lira. Mm. Big, big, big deterioration. Yes, indeed. Now we are talking about tens of thousands mm. for one dollar. Mm -hmm. This means that something going wrong. And uh, that's why we need the elections. We need uh, 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 the political-minded people to uh, help their country yes. by uh, trying to get one government, united government, although it is combined of different uh, parties and different uh, tribes. Yes. But after all, we have to raise the flag of Lebanon among all of these uh, differences. Mm -hmm. I hope that uh, the, the, the Lebanese people, and I really respect their... Uh, political standards of thinking. I hope that they will uh, cross this uh, very hard time Indeed. with a, a sort of uh, success to elect a new parliament and a new uh, government. Indeed. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, uh, now this is the first parliamentary election uh, for which, you know, expatriates are going to be voting. Uh, how does this affect uh, the results in your opinion? How important is their participation of the Lebanese uh, expatriates? In my opinion, it is very important because mm. I lived in many countries where they have plenty of Lebanese communities, mm. especially in Latin America. I served in, in Rio de Janeiro and in Brazil, where they say that the Lebanese in Brazil uh, are much more than the Lebanese in Lebanon itself. Mm. So their opinion is very important because they are supporting their country with uh, investment, with transfer of money. So I think that if, they, if we give them the chance to vote and to choose, this will be very healthy. And I think this will help uh, Lebanon to come back as a strong country, uh, enjoying the uh, unity of all its people. Indeed. Mr. Ambassador, of course, this is the first parliamentary election since, as you said, the economic crisis in Lebanon occurred. Yeah. Um, and the economic crisis was followed by and further worsened by the, uh, you know, the explosion that we saw at Beirut port. And then we, you know, it was like a rollover effect where the government also started resigning um, uh, and the economy started worsening. How do you see uh, this election as, you know, changing the political atmosphere in the country to further improve the economic situation which as you said earlier is uh, really deteriorating quickly 
if we succeed to get a good uh, political uh, life mm. and uh, elections in, in a very good way, this will send a message of confidence mm. to Egypt, to the Gulf states who are supporting the uh, Lebanese economy by, by all means. Mm -hmm. And uh, after all, we have to know that Lebanon is not producing industry or agricultural commodities. Mm. Lebanon is services, especially uh, building, banking system, and of course tourism. Mm. This all uh, uh, it depends totally on uh, the balance between all the tribes. Yes. And this needs stability in the country. And if we cross this period and finish this period of elections safely, this will give a good sign to those who are uh, preparing themselves to continue uh, invest, investing in, in Lebanon, mm -hmm. and then life will go back to, to work. Mm -hmm. I hope this will happen, but we need, in, in Lebanon always they need a good advice from uh, the big brothers, such as Egypt, such as uh, the Saudis or the Emirates, hmm. because we give a good advice without any uh, hesitation. I, I remember since Gamal Abdel Nasser that once they were uh, in difference to, to choose a president, and Gamal Abdel Nasser said, I will choose, if I am a Lebanese, I will choose the, the, the chief of the army, for what hmm. you have by that time, and the Lebanese fo followed the advice of Gamal Abdel Nasser. Hmm. We need such a thing. Mm -hmm. Syria uh, play such a role in some time, but Syria now is itself in a, in a problem. Hmm. So we hope that Egypt continue to give good advices, that the Gulf states will support the economic dimension of the country. I hope, I hope, I have uh, hope that they will reach stability for their country. It's a beautiful country. And we need it within the Arab family. Indeed. Uh, Mr. Ambassador, uh, many critics say that the nature of the voting system in Lebanon has been one of the reasons uh, for the country's inability to affect change through the ballot box and, uh, of course, in its you know, entrenched political elite. How do you see this theory? We have to deal with this in a practical way. Hmm. We, we have to uh, confess that we have a country which is highly divided among parties and among uh, tribes. Mm. This is a, a, a fact, we have to deal with it, because if we ignore it, I don't think that we can reach any solution. So I know it is not uh, the best way to deal with the elections in, in Lebanon, but it is a way at least to divide the power between different parties and different uh, tribes. Mm -hmm. And how come, Mr. Ambassador, you know, dozens of opposition groups sprung up since 2019 uh, with all the unrest in the country, but they've really failed to capitalize uh, on the popular discontent and form some sort of united front uh, in the upcoming election? Why is that, in your opinion, Mr. Ambassador? Because Lebanon uh, faced a, 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 a huge economic trouble lately. Mm. We must confess that there was a sort of corruption in the economic life yes and we, we we have to be very frank there and we have to discover what went on and because to to gain confidence this is the, the point an economy without confidence it cannot live so of course it's a big challenge mm. and the, the the new government and all those who are on top of the parties in in, in lebanon they have this duty and this task in order to regain the, uh, uh, the stability of that country and its repetition all over the world, and especially with the Lebanese who are uh, looking forward for a stable country, a united country. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Right. I'd like to thank you very, very much, Your Excellency Ambassador Gamel Bayoumi, the former Assistant to Foreign Minister. Thank you so much, sir, for your time and your insight on today's edition of Arab Affairs. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break, and we'll be right back to continue with our episode. We'll leave you with a report. Stay tuned.